Beardo Benjo. Hello there, everyone, and welcome to the definitive, ultimate, and very best way to play Resident Evil 7. This is it. We've we've reached the pinnacle. There is no better way to play this incredible entry into the Resident Evil franchise. Now, this is the Preydog VR framework. You've probably seen this before. You might have seen it on this channel. I've already covered Resident Evil 2 and 3 and Village, but now I'm checking out 7 because the mod's been updated and it now has fully fledged and genuinely <laughs> mind-blowing motion control support. I, I'm flabbergasted. This game means a huge amount to me. Um, Resident Evil 7 is one of my favourites in the franchise for some really specific reasons. I've always loved Resi, and after 6, I thought the franchise was kind of dead, I must admit. I thought, I thought that was it. I thought it was going down a path it wasn't going to recover from. And then this came along, and completely reinvigorated my love for the franchise, and revitalised the franchise as well, by changing the way that it approached things. You know, it was far more complex than just going first person. And I will always love this game for that. Now, as I said, this is a new update to the Prey Dog VR framework, and it's more than just motion controls. You can also do this. So if I take my right hand to my right shoulder, pull the trigger, I can bring out heals. And I can physically use those heals. I'm not going to, because I don't need to use them. I'm on green health. But you can physically use those heals, and then take them back and swap back to your gun. This is the kind of VR modding that blows me away consistently, and we're getting so much of it recently. So many talented modders are giving us full-fledged VR experiences on PC that we wouldn't normally have because the big AAA companies aren't investing in VR and don't see it as a viable means to make money for themselves, because that's what it's about for them. It's about making money. But the passionate people in VR are giving us these experiences. Now, I'm just going to play a little bit of this today. I'm not going to play tons. I just want to get some gameplay and show you how cool this is. Um, I think there's still loads of molded down here. Uh, this is an old game that I had going and I didn't get all the way to the end on. So <laughs> we'll, we'll soon see if I've cleared this basement out. I don't think I did. I don't. There's usually one around this corner. Nah, there we go. He's here. He's here. Oh my god. Stay back. I can't express to you how cool it is to finally play this game with actual motion controls. <laughs> I was really sick when this game launched. I actually went to an escape room experience in London uh, to celebrate the launch of this game. It was a Resident Evil 7 themed escape room. I had to climb into a mortuary drawer. There were actors that, that looked like Marguerite and, um, and Jack Baker and it was, it was very, very good. But I had a, a proper... Um, oh god. I had a proper chest infection. And I had to get down to London at like 5 in the morning, or maybe it was earlier than that, um, to get a place on this escape room because it was very limited tickets. And I did it, but I, I was not well. And then I was in bed for a week, um, the week that the game came out, just playing the game non-stop. So I completed it about four or five times in the first week. Uh, and then I went on to play it on PlayStation VR, which was my favourite way to play it. But I think this has to trump it, you know? I think this has to be the new ultimate way to play this game because look at it. Look how good those motion controls are. Flipping hell. I really hope this capture is doing this justice. Load, 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 load. Oh, load, 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 load. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, no. Oh, he killed me. He killed me big time. I, I don't like him. But I'm going back for more. Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go. I'm going to might back out the door and that give me a bit more room to kind of like... A bit more room to kind of manoeuvre what I'm trying to do here. Oh god, he's come for me already! Jeez, he's relentless! You coming? You coming? Flip, flip, reload. Even with this beastie gun, these guys are still quite imposing. Oh no, come on. Flip! Flip him out! Stay back, you shit. Come on. I think this is one of... Oh, the best looking um, 
of the new Resident Evil game. Something about this house. Oh, flaming Nora! Oh my god, he's, he's, I'm just chewing through ammo. I'm so not used to aiming with an actual... <sighs> yeah, I thought so. Um, with an actual controller. You know, I think this is one of the best looking of the new Resi games. They all look stunning. That um, RE engine is, is doing some crazy work. But I think something about this one just looks really, um, really realistic. I don't know. Now, you might be seeing some kind of weird lines on the walls. I think this is all because of how low I've dropped the graphics. Usually, I think that's like light diffusion, and you, would, you wouldn't you would see the lines. But because I've dropped the graphics quite low, you are seeing that. Um, now, I actually... Dissection room key. Now, the game actually runs beautifully on high. Um, everything on high it was running really, really well for me. But the capture was suffering. I was getting really framey, choppy capture. And I'd rather it... Open that. I'd rather it not look superb, but capture smoothly to really give you an impression of what this is like in VR than to have it looking amazing but running choppy. Okay, so you physically chop, much like you did in... Or oh, map, I'll have that. Much like you did in the <laughs> Resi 2 and 3 VR mods. It's the same framework, so it's the same mod, basically. Um, and you also now physically blocks. If you hold your hands up, that's a physical block. Mm, it's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. Oh, it's amazing. So my plan today really is just to show you a little bit of gameplay from here. So we'll run around here a little bit, get some kills, and then I might play one of the bonus modes. Scorpion Key. Well, I need that. What's my inventory looking like? Oh, it looks like a bloody nightmare. Am I heading towards like a jack... Fight? I think I might be, but I think I'm going the wrong way now. Is that that's the snake door? Okay, scorpion door is somewhere else. Oh <sighs> yeah, so I think I'll play a little bit of this. We'll run around in the basement, shoot some molded. I'll go up to the house, do shit the bed, do a quick tour of the house. Um, and then yeah, I might play like the Jack's Jack's birthday mode or something. One of the fun modes that came as part of the. Deluxe edition. <sighs> Come on now. I might actually stream this whole game like this. Um, this is this is one of my favourite my favourite VR games. Um, I loved it on PlayStation VR. It's one of my favourite Resi games as well. I might actually postpone my Alien Isolation stream this week and do a Resi stream instead. Oh, that's a good idea, isn't it? Yeah, we might do that and then come back to Alien next week. Alien's not going anywhere. It's not bloody going anywhere. I see you, mate. I see you. Oh, he's gone. That's all right then. Now, obviously, you can't do um, like proper reloads. That would be probably one step too far, bastard. That was a very posh bastard. I just said then. Oh, you bitch! Absolute bitch! Oh, what a shot! Come on. Come on. Up you get. Oh, bugger. Up you get. Up you get. Come here. Put him down! We gotta put him down. Yeah, I love this. My excitement's like bubbling over right now. I, I can barely contain myself. I'm like a little kid. Oh, I knew he was there. I've played this game so many times. I know where they all are. Yeah, I think I'm gonna stream this this week. If I can get the capture smooth and I can ensure that it looks good for you guys, then I think we'll, we'll think we'll start a little play. I might be able to complete a playthrough in a stream. Oh, piss. Come on. Oh, no. Back off, back off, back off, back off. See, that's actually kind of quicker than having to get it out of a menu as well. Oh, bugger. Oh, bugger. Oh, bugger. Run. Run. Oh, my God. They are not messing around. Where did they go? Are they, like, moulded back into the mould? Bunch of wankers. Okay. All right, well, we proceed. They're going to be back in here, aren't they? Are you back in here? I swear I heard him. Yeah, there you are. I knew you were here somewhere. You weren't going to go far, were you? Oh, they're both here, though. Flipping hell. Reload, 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 reload. Re yeah, that's it. Nope. 
He's doing that stupid lunging thing. Oh my god! <sighs> Come on! Oh jeez! Ah! <laughs> Honestly, I've been, I've been showcasing a lot of mods recently, um, and I've said this in other mod videos. Um, and that's because one, I really, I really do love these mods. I truly do. You know, these are some of my favourite games, and and now I can play them in my favourite, in my favourite gameplay medium. You know, I can I can actually play them in VR, which is my favourite way to play games. Um, open, open door, please. Uh, so yeah, it's um, it's pretty special to me. Hello, Jackalus. Hello. You're looking lovely today. A bit burnt. Looking better than that dude, though. Oh, it's this gonna be fun. I'm very excited. All right. Oh my god, that's how good the VR is. I went to open the door. I went to open the bloody door. Look at him. He's a mess. Poor deputy. Yeah, poor deputy indeed. He is. Um, he's seen better days. He's seen far better days. How does this work? How does this work in VR? How does this work in VR? E have this. Have that. Have that. I don't know what's doing. I think it's working. Okay. Quick heal myself. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, it's probably working. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Have that. <laughs> Turn on the engine. Ooh. Oh, come on, he's got to die soon. Oh, oh there we go, it's back on. Ah! Jack, mate, come on. This looks insanely good. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Yeah, this is so much easier. This is so much easier. I'm just holding it out. Yes! I don't know what's happening. It's just pus and blood and bits everywhere. Oh, God, he exploded. Oh. Oh, that was so good. I really didn't think I was going to be able to pull that off. Not first time, anyway. Happy I did though. Happy I did. I have uh I, I really should, honestly, I've played this game a ridiculous amount of times. It would be embarrassing if I died just then. My word. I don't know why I don't have the shotgun though. That is that is a worry. That is a worry. I need that shotgun. Oh no, I remember this bit. I remember this bit so vividly. No! She's round the corner! <laughs> The first time I played this game in VR, the first time I played it on PSVR, I don't think I could get past this bit. I was still very new to VR, and I was certain she was going to jump at me. So I took the headset off and I turned the PlayStation off because I was like, "I'm not playing. I'm not doing this anymore." Now I know she doesn't jump at you, but it's it's still incredibly unnerving. Oh, Granny. Oh, Granny. Granny! Why you gotta be like this, Granny? Eh? <laughs> Why you gotta be like this, Granny? Huh? I hate her. I hate her so much. Stay there as well. Don't try and chase me. Mm. Oh. Alright, let's have a little tour of the house. We'll do a bit of a walk around, have a look at the graphics, kind of breathe it in, breathe in how amazing this mod is, and then I'll sum things up. I say I only want this to be a short video because I have decided whilst playing that I'm definitely going to do a stream for this on Friday. So if you've enjoyed what you've seen today, then tune in tomorrow. We'll do a stream at 6.30, and uh, who knows, maybe we'll complete the entire game because I used to be able to speedrun this thing like crazy. I could do it so fast. I probably won't be able to in VR purely because um, it's just it's a bit harder, you know? Having to line up your shots and make sure you're not wasting ammo. It's a whole new dimension that I've never really had to play with before, so um, 
yeah, it probably won't be a speed run, but we can get we can get a lot of the game done in a three or four hour stream. Uh, very excited to do that. This just I, I don't know what else there is to say. It is not what you typically expect from a VR mod. You know, I've not I've not come to expect this level of quality. It's just mesmerizingly good. Now, I will just re-emphasize, this runs exceptionally well on my PC, which has an RTX 2080 i7 9700K processor and 32 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. Um, it runs ex exceptionally well, even on high, but I've dropped it to low or medium. Most of the settings are low or medium now to ensure that this capture is smooth for the video so that it, it's a smooth representation for you guys. But when you see things like these lines coming up and down the walls, they typically wouldn't be there on higher graphic settings because it's it's kind of the diffusion in the light. It's, it's meant to be changing kind of gradient and um, you can see, visibly see the lines where it's meant to do that. You wouldn't be seeing that if you had the graphic settings pumped up. But I've dropped them down purely because um, I wanted the capture to be as smooth as possible because it is quite demanding running the game and running OBS and running Oculus Mirror to ensure that we've got a nice stable capture and frame rate. Yeah, this is stunning. This is absolutely stunning. I, 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 I'm blown away. One of my favourite horror games, one of my favourite Resident Evil games, now fully playable with some of the best motion controls I've ever seen in a VR mod. It's, it's sublime. And this is why we need to support modders. And this is why we need to breed and kind of look after the passion of the VR community because there's some amazing people that are giving us experiences effectively for free that you know, the game developers and the publishers aren't giving to us. Absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. Right, I'm going to leave it here with Jack's birthday party so that you can see that the extra modes, the additional content, all works in VR as well beautifully. I think right now I'm actually playing as Mia. Yeah, playing as Mia. There's my little <laughs> face floating there. Right, got the shotgun. I'm one-handing a shotgun because Mia is just an absolute beast. Let's go get some food for Jack. Jack, I'm going to get you some food. I'm going to get you some cakes. I'm going to get you some scotch eggs, some pork scratchings. Hello there. Nice hat. Very nice. Very tasty. Oh, uh, he's not dead, I don't think. Um, is he dead? I think he's dead. Hello, there's some food for Jack. Take that, you shit. Down the stairs we go. Right, Jack, mate, I've got you some wine. Um, there you go. Oh, yeah, gobble it up, you cheeky boy. Yeah, yeah, we'll take both of them. Hello, lads. Hello. Yep, great. Yeah, fantastic. You still alive? Better not be. Yeah, I didn't think you were. There you go, some spice. And some... Oh, he's being sick everywhere. <laughs> That's disgusting, mate. That is disgusting. Hello. What we got in here? Yeah, more wine. Take that. Take that. He loves wine. He's a pisshead. I'm not just saying it. And I know there's a lot of sensationalism on YouTube. But this is the best way to play this game now. It, it just is, you know. It's already an amazing game. You're in here, aren't you? Loads of stuff. Right, we'll have that. We'll have all this. Can't have that. Um, ammo. Last bullet. We're going back to Jack. We're going to give him all the treats. Yeah, yeah. We're going back to Jack. We're going to give him some tasty chicken. Hello, mate. Sleep. Got to sleep. Got to sleep. And by sleep, I mean death. What's that? He probably won't want to eat that, whatever that was. That just looked like a pile of shit in the toilet. There's a big blue gun in here. Hello. Blue blaster. Hello. Whoa! This is a cool lasery gun. It's like COD zombies. There we go. <laughs> there we go. We need some spice. Oh no, he doesn't like the spice. Why are you starting on me? I've got a blue blaster. Right, I've got him one more chicken. Take this, you zombie bugger! I mean, not even a zombie, are you? You're just a big black mass of nonsense. Big pile of mold. Literal black mold. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Yeah, that's right. Uh oh, out bullets. <laughs> I really need to not be cocky anymore. Okay, mate, this must be the last thing, right? There you go. You're done now, yeah? 
Good bloody job. <sighs> Such a greedy boy, Jack. I really hope you've all enjoyed. This has been Resident Evil 7 with the new VR mod, the new Prey Dog VR mod framework update that gives you incredible motion controls and even lets you pull items from behind your back and block with a physical blocking or lifting hands to the face motion. This is stunning stuff. Thank you so much to everyone who worked on this mod. I don't know if it was just one person who might happen to be called Prey Dog, but whoever worked on this, thank you. It's amazing. It'll be out soon. And I'll be streaming this tomorrow. Take care of yourselves, guys. See you later. And also, don't don't forget to do the, the liking and the commenting and the subscribing. That's all. That yeah, that's that's great. That, that helps me. Bye.